Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here and welcome back to the Trinity Stamps YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a cute die set from our latest holiday release. It is the Snow Globe Tag die set. I'm going to show you two ways you can use it. One is a tag and one is a card. And we're going to just play with this set and I'm going to show you how to put it together through my trial and error. Yeah, and I'll even have a little bonus snow globe to show you too. Okay, so here's all the die cut pieces next to the die that cuts them out. And I'm gonna show you how to put these pieces together, how to layer them up and what each little piece actually is. So you can put it together with ease when it's time for you to create. It is so cute. It's almost two and a half inches tall and about two inches wide. Super cute for a tag, but you know, really cute to put on a card too. So I'm going to do both. I'm going to take the little blue piece that's like the background of the snow globe and some white acrylic paint, water that down a little bit and splatter it so it looks like snow. I wanted to do that first so I could let the glue dry. Now right here what I'm doing is wrong. You don't want to put the base of the snow globe on first. You actually want to put that blue background on first, but I'll fix it. You'll see there's no stress in card making. We just make it work. It's just paper, right? So here's a little label. You can add somebody's name, which I love for a tag to have the name right on the front. There are two layers of snow here, which gives you a lot of dimension. And I think you like that when it's a little snow globe, right? All right. So there you can see what that looks like layered up, but really you do want to do this once it's glued down onto that base layer where I put the um, snow globe wooden base. There are tiny little trunks and two trees to add on top of them. I like the two trees side by side. You can put one on each side. You can have four trees, like however you want to build your scene, you can do that. And then there's the really cute little snowman. He's holding this heart and that is just so cute. There's tiny little arms for him. So they glue on either side of his body with the hands overlapping that heart in the center. So cute. All right, so then we wanna go ahead and put together his hat next. So for the hat, what I found, but didn't show here, is that you wanna glue the hat to the back of the snowman's head first. And then we're gonna add the layering pieces. So you just glue the snowman right to the hat, and then there's this hat brim piece that you glue to the front of the snowman. So it makes it really look like it's sitting on his head. And then glue on that red band around his hat. I find it easiest to line up if you do it in that order. There's a tiny little carrot nose. There's also some eyes that are really tiny. I recommend die cutting them from solid black cardstock, not a cardstock that's white on the back because then if the eye flips over it really doesn't matter. Also if you have trouble with tiny little pieces like this you can always draw the eyes on if you prefer that. So there he is so so cute. I'm going to glue that down so he's sitting on that little snowy hill and then we'll glue this down to the snow globe and this is when I realize should have glued down this piece first because you see it overlaps the base. Ah, so I ripped off the base, cut a new base layer, and then glued down my snow globe, and I popped up the wooden base there, and it worked perfectly. So I was able to fix it, and then this is the tag portion. So if you want to turn this into a tag, there's a separate die for that, and it has the little topper there. So you can just add some twine, and it's good to go as a tag write the name on that little label, it's really cute, or do a to and from on the back. Okay, so next we're going to create a card. I'm gonna take um, a bunch of the snowflakes from this Frost Family little stamp set. I love this set, I've used it so much. It's actually Freezing Family, Freezing Family. And I think it's really cute with those four little snowmen in a row. I'm stamping that cluster of snowflakes with Salty Ocean and then with white, kind of overlapping it. So just another way to create a background on here is with a tiny little snowflake stamp. I think that's really cute, it gives it a little 3D look. So here's the way you should do it. Glue down the background, Glue down your wooden base, which I die cut from some wood grain paper. Add your snow banks. They just nestle right up against 
that part of the snow globe base. Um, now I'm gonna build my scene. I have some papers here that I sprayed with mica spray for another project, and I'm gonna use those to die cut my trees. I like having a specialty paper there that I've made. This time I'm putting the trees on the right, and then I'm gonna put the snowman on the left. I'm also gonna use this red paper that I sprayed with Distress Mica Spray Stain for the hat band, for his little heart, and I had his nose go the other way. But remember, glue the hat onto the back of the snowman, then the brim on the front of the snowman, then add the hat band. So much easier. So we'll glue him into place. It's just a really darling little snowman. And then these pieces that accent the wooden base, or maybe yours is going to be metallic. Either way, they can then be glued on and they fit perfectly. Now, here's a little tip for those tiny little pieces. You can use a piece of tape to remove them from the die and then use your tweezers to peel them off of that tape and stick them down. Then you might not lose them. And if you want to do a different kind of hat, I cut the head of the snowman from that same mica sprayed paper and then cut it in half and use that as like a stocking cap for this snowman. So you can do it a different way. And then if you have tiny little pom-poms or a tiny little circle die, something you could add to the top of it if you wanted. And then I thought it'd be really fun to create a scene with two snowmen side by side and the trees on either side. I even had their arms look like they're holding hands. Now I end up using this for a different project that's not in this video, but I thought you would want to see another way you can use this set and that is by putting the two snowmen in there and then I did put the heart up like in the sky between them <gasps> so cute check it out so I'm putting that on an ornament that I'm going to give my husband so Anyways, I thought you'd want to see that. Okay, so now I am taking the Retro Snowflake Wrap 6x6 background stamp, inking that up with Salty Ocean to create a background for this card. This uh, background stamp is just so much fun. I like it for a subtle background. It's perfect for my no panel, no full panel shaker card. How do you have a card with no panel? I don't know. Okay. Let's move on. I'm gonna take that same ink and a ink blending buddy brush and dust the same color around the edge. It just helps darken the edge, which draws your eye into the center. So just a light dusting there, and I love that look. Now, I don't wanna waste that ink on my glass mat, plus I love splatter, so I'm gonna go ahead and splatter. Now, in the end, when everything got stuck down, I don't think you can really see the splatter on this, but that's okay. I had fun doing it. So <laughs> next I added rip and stick tape on the back of my snowflake panel, and then I'm getting my A2 layer shaker pouch ready. So layer means it's gonna fit a piece of paper that is five and a fourth inches by four inches. So when you glue this panel down onto an A2 size card, you will have a border of your card base showing all the way around. This is my favorite shaker pouch is the layered ones. We have layered ones for mini slimline and slimline cards as well. Plus, of course, we have the full panel that goes all the way to the edge of your card. So I'm going to take three different embellishment mixes. These are all confetti pieces that are mostly flat. Some have a little tiny bit of a crimped edge in different finishes. I will link all of them for you below and you can see mm, it's so fun to create your own mix. You've got glittery, shiny, there's some stars in there, iridescent, clear, so fun. So when I do my shaker cards, um, you might have seen me use the crease tool to pre-fold the edges. I find that so helpful. And then I like to fold in the two edges that are opposite of each other first, then the bottom, pour my mixture in and fold down the top. This what you're seeing is our Simply Sentimental Mary set. I'm gonna use the die cut version where it's red with white letters and then we have Simply Sentimental Christmas. They all or both have the same fonts so you can mix and match the Mary and the Christmas or you can use the sub sentiments in the stamp set. So here are the pieces I'm using, both die cut. And a little tip is I like to cut out the letters with cardstock that is backed with rip and stick sheets so I can peel off those letters, stick them easily down to the shadow layer. Love it. All right, so to stick this down to my plastic panel there. I'm using a combination of rip and stick tape 
and liquid glue and I find this is the magic mix so it doesn't come off later. I'm gonna do the same thing on the back of my snow globe and then I can have that right above my sentiment with my fun shaker in the background. Oh, it's so cool. I love shaker cards, they're my favorite. So having full panel pockets is like so cool to me. I love it. I make them all the time. All right, so now we're gonna stick this down to our A2 size card base. Remember, I will have a border of that showing all the way around. So to stick this down, I went over those seams of my paneled shaker pocket with rip and stick tape added some liquid glue, and then center that so you've got white border all the way around. Now I have these um, glitter-filled enamel dots in rainbow color, but I'm gonna take that turquoise blue and add a few to the top layer of my card. I just wanted a little bit more blue, a little bit more bling, a little bit more glitter. <laughs> so I added them to finish off the front of the card, but I don't wanna leave out the inside of the card. So I am gonna bring in a cool stamp set. This is the Insider Sentiment stamp set for Christmas. So I'm gonna take this one die cut out with the coordinating die set. The coordinating die set really is a set you can use completely on its own. It creates labels. So I love that. You could make labels for anything, stamp whatever you want in them, and add them to a tag, the front of a card, the inside, whichever you like. So there's my tag and my shaker card with our new snow globe tag die set. I think it's darling and really fun to play with. So thank you for watching. You can find all the things I use, link for you below, and be sure to check us out on Facebook and Instagram too. I will see you very soon with a new video right here on Trinity Stamps. Happy stamping! Bye!